This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. In case you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can download this template from the link in the description. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Trendy Text. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. And a frame rate of 15, to get the 2D animation look. You can go with the 60 frames per second. Hit OK. And now we are moving to the first step. Create a new solid layer, and call it the background. I am choosing the lightest blue color for it. You are free to use any color you want. Let's add some elements to it. Again create a new solid layer, and call it waves. Let's use this light blue gray color, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the Venetian blinds. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the transition completion value to 50%. Then change the direction angle value to 45 degrees. Now change the width value to 30, and this is how it looks now. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the wave warp. Place it right below the Venetian blinds effects, and let's adjust a few settings. Change the wave height value to 60, and wave width value to 400. Let's keep the value 360, and it is looking much better. Also, change the direction angle value to 45 degrees, and this is how it looks now. One thing you may notice, I can see the edges of the wave, which we really don't need to show. Let's fix it. Simply change the pinning value to all edges. And boom. Let's change the wave speed value to 0.3. It will make the animation slower. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. I am not sure if you can see, the edges of these lines are not smooth, and showing some pixels on the edges. For getting a better result, simply change the anti-aliasing to high. It will make the edges sharper, but it can also affect the render speed. Before moving to the next step, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download, After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, web templates, and more. Visit the Envato Elements check the first link in the description. Let's move to the next step. Go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. You might want to add your whole word altogether, but in this tutorial, we have to add individual characters on different layers. So instead of typing zoom word, in a single text layer, I am using the letter Z only. Eject from the typing box, and then select the move tool. I'm going to hide this wave layer for now, because it is distracting a little. Don't worry, we will activate it later. Now select the text layer, and then align it to the center. In the character window, I am using the text value of 300 pixels. Let's add a stroke around this letter. Simply click on this stroke option, and then choose a color for it. I am using the black color. In some cases, you may not see the stroke around your text. You can fix it very easily. Make sure to set the stroke width value to a higher number. I am going with the value of 10 pixels, and this is how our text looks now. 
Also, we have the option to place the stroke in different positions, such as stroke over fill. Let's go with the fill over stroke, and the text looks much better. Let's add some animation to it. Make sure you are at the first frame, and then press P, to open position. And then add a keyframe to it. Now change the position value to a lower number. I am using a value of 500 pixels. Then go to the 1 second position, and change the Y position value to a higher number. Let's keep the value of 800 pixels. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. I think I need to change my first position value. So go to the first keyframe position, and change the Y position value to 400 pixels. Now select both keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. And the animation looks much better. Now I want my text to animate in a constant loop. For creating a loop, you can copy and paste these keyframes on intervals. Or, you can use an expression. I am going with the expression method. For adding an expression, press and hold the Alt or Option key on your keyboard, and then click on the stopwatch icon to add an expression. In this expression box, type, loop, capital O, and then small u, t, parentheses. Make sure to type it as I am, else the expression won't work. Now add a quotation mark, and then type ping pong inside it. This expression will inverse the movement, and create this bouncy loop animation. Cool. This is what we are looking for. Now, this is the benefit of adding this expression, in case you want to increase the speed of this animation, you can simply bring the last keyframe closer, and the animation will be faster. In the manual method, we have to change all the keyframes. Cool. And now we are moving to the next step. Minimize this text layer to get some room, then make a duplicate of it. Let's double click on this text layer, and replace this letter with another one. I am using the letter O. We have to place this character layer right below the Z. So that it will show right behind it. Now press U to reveal all keyframes. And then place it right next to the letter Z. Here is the problem. If we change the position of this layer, it will add another keyframe on the position, which we don't need. No matter if you move it using the mouse, it will add an extra keyframe. Let's see how can we fix it. Simply select both position keyframes, then go to the position of any of the keyframes, now use the shift plus right arrow key on your keyboard, and it won't add another keyframe to it. Let's quickly create more duplicates, and complete our whole word. I am speeding up this process to save your time. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Not bad. But we don't have that dynamic look. Let's do it. Press U to reveal all keyframes, and then go to the position of the first keyframe. If required, zoom into your timeline by pressing the plus or minus key on your keyboard. Now drag the layer 10 frames forward, so that the starting distance will be 10 frames in each layer. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. I think the 10 frames distance is too much. Also, some of the letters are not showing from the beginning, so grab the edge of the text layer, and drag them to the left, to match it with the starting position. Check the animation, and this is how it looks. Not bad. Instead of adding 10 frames distance, I am adding 5 frame distances in each layer. Check the animation, and this is looking much better. Cool. You can turn on the motion blur for all layers, and then activate it from here. In case the rendering is taking longer time, you should keep it off. Now select all the character layers, right click on them, and choose to pre-compose. I am calling it text 001, and then hit OK. 
Let's place this text right into the center, press the shift plus arrow key, to place it to the center. Now we are creating more text layers. So instead of adding multiple text layers, I am going to duplicate this top layer. Now, I want my second layer to appear after a few frames, so I am selecting the top layer, and placing it to the left, to create a small distance between them. Cool. Make sure to use only one or two frame distances, not more than that. Let's add some color to the bottom layer. Select the bottom layer, then go to effects and the presets, and search for the change to color. Apply it to the layer, and then adjust a few settings. First, grab this from the color picker, and choose the white color from our text layer. And then, for to color, choose a different color which you want to place. I am using this red pink color. Now I do not see any color changes, because we need to change the change value to hue, lightness and saturation. But it has also changed the color of my stroke, so change the change by value to transform to color, and this is how it looks. Cool. Check the animation, and see if you like it. By following the same steps, we will create more duplicates of it. I am placing them two frames forward, and individually changing the color for all layers. Let's fast forward this step to save some time. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Instead of two frames distance, let's add one frame gap, so that they appear right after each other. Check the animation, and this looks much better. Now I am going to place the layers to the right from each other, so that it will create a perspective. Press shift plus right arrow key, and place it right here. Do the same with all these layers, and this is how it looks now. Let's turn on the wave layer. I think I have to change the color of it, so select the wave layer, go to the layer, and click on solid settings. Change the color to the different one, I think I will go with this one. And this is how it looks. Check the animation, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, happy new year, take care of yourself, and peace.